welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I am about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the full moon in Capricorn. It's a blue moon. The buck moon. It's peaking on Sunday, Sunday morning, um, Eastern Standard Time at 6.17 a.m. That's July 21st. Sorry. And uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days the day before the day after the moon will still be in its full bright shiny strength and power for you know the full day before day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about so this is a special time special moment um, in the uh, when we're working with moon manifestation it's it's the blue moon it's a rare opportunity for us and this is the full moon so the position of the Sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment the Sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth the sun is like the father, the masculine energy. The moon is the mother, Luna, the female, the feminine energy. And the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn sun, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn moon and Cancer sun it's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something, something amazing for us. And of course, our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways. And so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful, more calming, more abundant for everyone. And so please keep in mind at all times, of course, to keep our energies and our positivity as high, our vibes as high as we can. But this perhaps is a very significant time in a way that it gives us more power those energies from the Sun and the moon combining showering on the earth is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all you know it, whatever we're dealing with whatever we're feeling at this time is going to be amplified and a blue moon period is about two and a half year period so that's a long time for whatever we're working on now, concentrating on now, to manifest. Okay? So the moon is like the mother, and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life. She's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world, creating our legacy. The mother can represent having children, of course, but it could also be, and it may not be having physical children, but also giving birth to an idea, creating art, starting a business, or just creating a life that one enjoys. This is a chance. Every full moon period, every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention. The full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases. It's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon. And while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur, to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks, in all um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six-month period. Today, or at this time, we're 
working with Capricorn Moon, which is full because it's opposite of the Sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when the, the new Moon in Capricorn occurred last winter, we are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight, perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals. You might want to put that in your water. And then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out. You can use it. You can sip it. You can ingest the, um, the energies. Or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special. You can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of that, of the intentions that you set in it, and that full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun. So this is this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water. You can also charge your crystals in stones during this time. Every month I charge all of my crystals in the, um, in the moon, under the full moon, in order to keep them vibrant and energetic. You can take a moon bath. You can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your windowsill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin a wallet or your bank card put it on this windowsill and uh, let the moon charge that up give you more energy give your money more energy more power this is a Capricorn moon. It's about it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do, producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or or some uh, organization some of your money, time, energy. And whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times. This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself, uh, through her phases, symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in is the crone and she she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her uh, she's honing her she's passing her skills I'm, I'm sorry on to the younger ones and she's transitioning into a new phase which will be into the new moon a new life our death and rebirth and so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional. And so uh, women like to gather uh, to share, to laugh, love, dance, sing, um, create things, art, music. 
it's a beautiful time for that and as I said before we are in the Capricorn moon this is a time to release control and trust the universe Capricorn moon is a very strong Capricorn itself a very strong worth work ethic and energy to, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might have, feel at this time and the way to cope with that would be to make plans making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness those born under the Capricorn moon you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly they need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion. Those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant. They feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks. The Capricorns are the workhorses of, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the Buck Moon, you must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no, but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn but this full moon cycle is is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle okay so we are getting to the end of this ask yourself how hard are you willing to work for what you want effort is required um, work issues may come up at this time um, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more okay okay and as I said um, the blue moon this is a blue moon so every two and a half years two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign and that's what we're experiencing here we had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of cancer season and this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season, entering into Leo season, which is represented by the sun. So this is a, a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by Cancer, or Cancer is ruled by the moon, I should say, and Leo is ruled by the sun. And on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close to that to Leo season and that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions our mother and our father coming together our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time okay it's 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 very exciting to me um, it's a super every blue moon because it's so rare it's so it's like the moon got got a double dose of Capricorn energy okay so we, we already had our dose of Capricorn energy at the last full moon and here we are getting another full dose of Capricorn Sun onto the moon and so it's a supercharged full moon 
every full moon is a very powerful time but the blue moon is extremely power it's supercharged it gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon so don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic now as i was saying generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began what began six months ago but that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now we're going to talk about that when we get into our reading okay and so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart what house it's in look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well try to work with those houses to formulate an intention and because the power the, the full moon is so powerful it is possible that during this moment your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true those could be this could be this magic moment that you need to to create the miracle to to feel that miracle to actually witness something rare to take place for you and so let me um, explain um, this is a positive sign this um, this blue moon is if you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe whatever you were asking about well it might only happen once in a blue moon but it can happen it is important that you believe in it if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen then guess what it won't happen so just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams okay it's it's not impossible okay so I want to thank you for joining me we're getting we're getting ready to do some readings for you I'm going to have a special reading for you to um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true so let's get into it thank you without further ado let's go ahead and get into this so spirit what does virgo need to know uh, what would virgo benefit to understand here with the uh, full moon spread thank you all right let's go ahead let's see okay we're going to start on this top row here this first card is in the position of what have i created since the new moon what have you what have you accomplished since the new moon or what ha how have you grown and we have here the magician all right perfect uh, i mean the beautiful beautiful card you have grown into this magician you have become the magician you have learned how to manifest you have come to understand that as above so below you have all your tools you are eternal you are a manifester and a conscious manifester i should say we're all manifestors we just the conscious ones are the ones that have control over what happens so that is a pretty impressive place to be Virgo you have really stepped up I guess since the um, since the last new moon in Capricorn so this is in the position of where are you now okay okay another major arcana two out of two the chariot you are moving forward with will and determination you have uh, your intuition as a guide the moon as a guide the zodiac as a guide um, 
forward motion, determination, discipline, courage, victory is, is within sight. Pretty impressive here too. This is where you are now. Okay. And then this is the position of what am I becoming aware of? What, um, what are the pre-manifestations here? Okay. Looks like you're in, aware or becoming aware or you will soon become aware of the need to rest, to recover, to receive healing, to meditate, to, um, to get more sleep. To take a break. Let's just go ahead. We're going to clarify all of these. Let's go ahead and see what else we have to learn about these cards for Virgo. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to take them, make it obvious. I think I was just drifting off there. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go ahead and. Oh, yeah. Okay. For Virgo. Thank you, Spirit, please. Help us to understand, confirm, and clarify. Okay, let's check these out one by one. So, as far as how far you've come, the magician is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles uh, has the message on the card to focus on your goals to bring great success. So, um, this is how far you've come as far as you have you, you know how to focus on your goals to bring great success. You know how to manifest things with your tools, manifest your goals, make them come true, bring about whatever it is that you want because you, you know how to use the energy of the Page of Pentacles to focus on the goal, to, um, to take advantage of the opportunity. To be eager and curious and to have the ambition. Okay, let's go ahead and look at what the um, where you are now, where at the chariot is confirmed or okay. So with a chariot, it could be that where you are now is in a place of tension. Uh, insensitivity. Um, this seems to indicate that there's some tension or anxiety here. It seems like you're blocked, but you can still take a step. And the chariot is the opposite of that. There is no blockage. He's moving forward. He has no blockages. He has no fears or doubts like, like this figure does. Um, He's self-assured. So, one of these cards is in reverse. So, where you are now. Let's go ahead and clarify that one more time with another card. Let's see what else we have here to clarify the Chariot and the Eight of Swords. It's got to, they're just like opposites in a way. So which is it for you, Virgo? Let's see here.
Two of Cups. Open your heart and receive love for others. Balance. Attraction. Partnership. Harmony. Cancer Energy. And so the Two of Cups uh, is you and spirit. And the Two of Cups um, chariot is guided by spirit. So if where you are now is in the chariot position, then the Eight of Swords is the opposite. So you have the freedom to choose. You have a new perspective and you're looking for new, new perspectives. Um, you have broken out of this. You've broken out of this uh, blockage, this mental blockage. Um, and if you haven't, if you're, if, if some of, some of the Virgos that watch this are in this state now, then remember the chariot, okay? Remember that, you know, um, the, way to, the way to move forward, to be like the chariot and move forward where you should be, is to open your heart and receive the love from others and to be balanced and to let go of the fear and doubt because chariot ha is driven by his um, knowing that he has spirit guided assistance and he's going into the unknown and he's going away from something that he he was familiar with his city and he's going away from that and he's searching for something else and he has this scepter like the magician has in a way. So he's taking that magician power with him. He's going, he's, he's headed for victory. And he doesn't allow the blockages. He doesn't allow, he doesn't feel disempowered. He doesn't, he's courageous. He isn't fearful or doubtful. Why should he doubt anything? He has spirit. Um, the uh, figures on the bottom, the sphinxes, they are holding their tails. So they, they know what their past is. And they're aware of the past. And it's made them, you know, who they are now. He, he has all of that in perspective. He has balance. That he has, he's balanced with the black and the white and the, the, the dark and the light. So this is an uh, important, a lot of symbols here in this card will help you if you are in this situation where you, you have mental blockages, you have doubts and fears and things worrying you, making you feel stuck and making you feel like you can't move. You can move, okay? You just have to take a step. One step will get you to this place. Um, yes, partnership with spirit will help you get to that place. Okay, so, and then what are you becoming aware of now? Well, you have the Four of Swords, and it's clarified by the Five of Swords. All right, so this is pretty interesting. This is telling me that uh, you, you need to take this time to rest because you're going to face another, um, you're going to have some unexpected, what well, you're, you don't have to think it's unexpected because you, you're getting the, the warning here, but there's a five of swords energy coming. There's a mental, uh, competition, conflict, mental change, mental, um, Mind games could be aggression, arguments, self-sabotage. This is something that's crossing your path right now or soon will be. And the remedy is to rest for that. Be prepared. You can prepare for it 
by taking the time to meditate and to connect with your higher self, be, be calm, be rested, time out, you know, heal. And this could be, this could be how you heal after the conflict or, and this can be how you can prepare for the conflict. Either way, this is something that you need to be aware of right now. Okay, Virgo? You're, uh, you have a lot of mental energy, I think. You have a lot of intelligence. And this is, this is something that's going to affect your, your mental, um, your mentality. <laughs> um, you know, so... Yeah, this is just something to, to give you a heads up on this. So you're going to you're going to prepare for this situation by being in the four of swords and you're going to heal from the five of swords conflict by returning to that four of swords position. OK, so that's a lot of information there, Virgo, a lot of things going on. Um, let's go ahead and look into uh, what we should be releasing at this time. So this position has, uh, what is it time for me to surrender? Well, the card is another major arcana card here. Um, so many majors. The hanged man is telling us to surrender. Surrender to spirit. This is what we should be surrendering at this time. It's just um, getting into this point of, of self-reflection, realization, self-realization, analysis. Um, yeah, take time out here and surrender to the, um, to what's going on right now so that you can become enlightened by it. It's a, it should be a peaceful time to just observe. Okay. And so how can you let go of what is no longer for you? By taking advantage of the gift that Spirit is giving you of a new opportunity. The Page of Pentacles is um, going to go right along with this. The Magician is going to use this Pentacle. By like the page of Pentacles is going to you focus on your goals, you bring your great success, you um, you ex receive this gift from spirit, this opportunity with eagerness and curiosity, diligence, courage, ambition, and loyalty. All right, and so what resources are supporting you right now as you do the real as you make your release? How is spirit helping you? Gave you the two of wands, which is letting you know that it's confirming that you, um, you have the world in front of you. You have this opportunity, just like this page of pinnacles. But um, with balance and harmony, you can. it's time for you to plan to uh, um, get your ideas together for you know moving on taking the first the first few steps towards your goal and so that that's what you're you have as a um, a support is knowing that you have this um, you're in this stage now where you can start fresh you can um, mm, you know, see the world in different way and take advantage of the, the gift, the gift, the opportunity that you have to move forward. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get some more clarification on this bottom row. Okay. For Virgo. The hanged man is talking about surrender. 
and it's clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, um, which is telling us it's uh, this is your energy, Virgo, to find work-life balance to protect your creativity. So, um, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles, you are you have high standards and you have skill, um, but you can be a little bit too perfectionistic and um, so this is something you need to let go of. You want to let go of that, um, the, the overly carefulness. Um, you want to embrace your skill. You know you have skill. Um, so don't, um, don't let it um, stifle you. Don't let it block you. Okay, by uh, feeling like the work isn't good enough and you have to just keep going and going and going. At some point, you have to say it's done. It's good. And it is good because you are detail-oriented and you are, um, you know, a very skillful, very talented. And you need to believe in that. You need to, you know, um, realize that, that you have what you have everything you need okay and so when you're in uh you know maybe take the time to surrender in hangman mode and you know realize that for yourself uh, find it out and be be enlightened by that all right and for how you can let go uh the ace of pentacles is clarified by the high priestess um another major arcana here um, that's one, two, three, four so far. Majors. And the high priestess says to trust your own counsel first. So how can you let go? Use your intuition, girl. Or boy. <laughs> or man. Uh, whatever. Use your intuition. Trust your own self. Okay. Um, you do have sound judgment, wisdom, common sense. Use that. That's how you can um, use that pinnacle. That's how you can release um, your whatever's holding you back here. Whatever's holding you back and whatever's causing you to um, be overly perfectionistic. Um, those are the things that are you should be trying to release right now. So that's how you're going to do it. Use your inner wisdom. Okay. And so what resources or how is Spirit helping you right now? Um, with the Two of Wands is clarified by the King of Pentacles, telling you to continue to solve issues in practical ways. So when you, you the Two of Wands says plan, make plans, take the first step. And the King of Pentacles clarifies and confirms and says, Continue to solve the issues in practical ways. Um, use your intelligence. Be realistic. You know, when you're planning, when you're, you got your pinnacle, your ace of pinnacle here from spirit, the king of pinnacles says, you know, and the page of pinnacles, he's holding it. The magician is turning it into something. Something that he really wants to do. The Virgo in you is taking that with your skill and building it into something something beautiful, something prosperous. The King of Pentacles shows that you do. You made it. You made it. You are, you are headed to the mastery of the pinnacle, of your pinnacle, of your opportunity. So Virgo, that is pretty cool, pretty amazing stuff here. I'm really impressed with all the major arcanas you have. Like you're going through a big change. Uh, honestly, I have seen a lot of majors so far in the in the like four or five readings I've done this week, and um, I think it's indicative of this very potent moon cycle that we're in. I think the whole universe is shifting to a big, powerful change right here. Very shortly, we're all going to experience this in some way or another. 
Um, so for you, I think you, your prospects look very good. You have everything you need. You have, you have this momentum. You are headed for victory. You have the power of the magician. You have, you understand how to manifest, how to bring together, um, what, what's inside of you, what your dreams are, bring them to life and reality. And spirit's giving you a big, big opportunity here. The world, basically, the world is in your hands. You know, you can make it whatever you want it to be. And don't worry about this issue. Looks like you, you're, you've got the answer to everything right here. Meaning, you know, take that time out. Also be like the hanged man. Look at things from a different perspective, okay? All right. So that's going to, well, no, we have a little bit more. We have to do the um, spirit animal. Let's let the spirit animals help us a little more to give us a little more boost of advice or uh, confirmation that we might need. So for Virgo, spirit, please help us to understand even more. Okay, let's go. One, two, and three. You have spider, manifestation. You weave your web in life. What you see before you is the result of your thoughts. If your current reality does not suit you, then it is time to make changes through conscious manifestation. Your energy can bring in all you desire. Okay? All right, in the next card, Spirit says, Horse, freedom. You must break out of any limitations that are holding you back, whether they are self-imposed or put on you by other people or society. Break free and run faster toward your dreams. Okay. And that would be like this card right here. Yeah, whatever's holding you back, whatever that limitation is, whatever's that causing you to feel like you can't move, Break free and run faster toward your dreams. That's what that's what the chariot's doing. All right, let's go ahead. One more. Hawk. Spirituality. Fly above and beyond your day-to-day -day thoughts to observe them from a bird's eye view. Quieting the mind and detaching from your thought patterns puts you in a better position to take in messages from your spirit guides. Reminds me of the Four of Swords, the High Priestess, the Hanged Man. They're all saying similar things. Listen to yourself. Take time out. Quiet the mind. Detach. Detach from um, your thought patterns. So there you go. There you go, uh, Virgo. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you got a lot out of that. I, I feel like there's a lot of good advice here for you at this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the, um, the bonus reading. Like I said, I'm doing the uh, Career Oracle um, deck as again one more time for Capricorn Full Moon. Capricorns are pretty ambitious toward, uh, in a career sort of way. So let's go ahead and get a few of these for Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see. Three of these today for Capricorn's Moon. All right, the first thing you got was timing. It's all in the timing right now. Pull another card to see if you need to do it now, wait a while, or make a deci different decision. Well, it tells us to pull another card. Long term. An opportunity could turn into a long term career move, or you will be asked to commit to a position in exchange for more money. Um. That reminds me of the fact that this is the blue moon. Long-term goals should be kept in mind if you're uh, planning to make an intention around this time. 
think about uh, something that's going to uh, be your legacy one day. Um, something that will come into fruition in two and a half years and 20 years. Um, as well as go ahead and try to do make some magic today for the full moon in Capricorn itself being um, a good time to make a wish for something pretty something pretty miraculous for you. It's a good time for that. Your next card was magic. You have the power now. Use your magic to attract what you want in life, in your into your life. The sky is the limit. And that reminds me of the high priestess. Where's she at? Is she not in here? Don't you have high priestess? Oh, no. Uh, someone else. Okay. Well, like the high priestess, she, uh, she, the sky's the limit for her. She has unlimited potential. And I believe that you are like the high priestess as well. All right, so let's go ahead and the last uh, oracle card for you, strategy. You need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. All right, so uh, don't forget to use your strategy. Okay, Virgo, I think that does it for us today. I really do appreciate you being here. I thank you sincerely. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I did make it a little bit easier for you if you happen to be watching on a TV screen. That's the way I like to watch it. Uh, watch my videos. <laughs> um, by adding a, a subscribe button on the end of this video. Uh, so all you have to do is navigate, navigate up to it and click on it if you would like to subscribe. Um, it would All it costs you is that little bit of effort to make that extra click. Those extra clicks. But for me... Um, it's a it makes a tremendous boost for me. Also, your likes and your comments help me to get better and better. Um, I really do love each and every one of them. I will never take them for granted. I, I appreciate all of them. Um, by the way, I wanted to add that um, I wanted to make an offer that anybody who uh, could look into the uh, anybody who saw the intro. And if you can tell me what, um, if you can guess which crystals I used, I have six different types of crystals on that intro. And if you can make a guess in the comments on uh, what they are or some of them, then I'm going to uh, try my, I'm going to try to find a way, which I'll, I, I have to get in contact with you to um, send you a, a crystal if you get them all correct or if you um, or if nobody gets them all correct whoever gets the closest okay and I'll give you a hint as well it has to do with uh, cancer and uh, it has to do with Capricorn so uh, that being said I just wanted to let you know that that opportunity is out there to make a comment and uh, perhaps win a crystal from me all right, so that's all for now. Thank you again for all you do, Virgo. Um, I, I really appreciate everything that you that you do and that you came to spend time with me again. I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful month ahead. And uh, until next time, love and light.